<laughs> what up everybody, Holmes here and welcome back to more Dark Souls 2 walkthrough. What a deck spell! Yeah. Alright, so uh that was kinda weird at the end. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on with the memory lanes. Uh there's a total of four and I plan on trying to <laughs> Plan on showing you guys all four of it, and hopefully I don't fuck up on trying to get to the fourth one here. Um, the first one... It's the closest, why not? Actually, I just remember why not. Because we're not gonna get- ooh, bit of day. We're not gonna get a ship from this one. Yet. Uh... I want to take on the one where... Ben Hart's at first. That's gonna be the one I wanna go first and then go for the Forest of Fallen. I mean, for the Giant Lord. First, I wanna take on Ben Hart's and the way to Ben Hart's Giant Lord, I mean, the memory lane, it's you wanna just follow the path to the Pursuer area and just keep heading on over here basically where the pursuer is and a bit past it I feel like my roll speed is kind of low uh, probably gonna have to eat, upgrade some vitality yeah, I want to talk to Ben Hart over here and if he survives this fight uh, yeah if he survives excuse me if, if he survives this fight then we will be able to get his armor set and everything. If he doesn't, then this part might be a bit. bit la, 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 <laughs> this part, um, getting his weapon might be a bit of a pain to do, considering what I'm about to do. Uh, anyways, let's chat him up and I'll explain what that well, means. We be again. What are you doing here? Who'd have thought we'd meet in a place like this? <laughs> Fate just won't let us stay apart, will she? <laughs> <laughs> See, the old sword's caught your attention. Well, you've a good eye then. That has been in my family for generations. But they say it is crafted with moonlight. And we all know what that means. It wards off evil. And I would need trade her for all the riches in the world. It is said that no man has ever teased out the sword's true power. But in the right hands. <laughs> I see you've taken a liking to the sword. Well, I applaud you, for you've a sharp eye. But this is one sword, pal. I will not be given up. But if you still insist on having it, then you will have to pry it from my cold horns. <laughs> have a great day to you, and I'll never forget it. I, Ben Hart, swear by my honor to aid you in your darkest hour, so no problem, pal. Alright, so... Yeah, that's Ben Hart, and after talking to him, exhausting his dialogues, he will appear in this memory lane. Um, the reason why I said it's going to be a bit tough for me, well, it shouldn't be for you guys if you guys don't do what I do, because what I'm planning to do is I'm trying to make the final fight, final boss fight, tough. Okay, if you guys don't want the final fight to be tough, I suggest you guys go to Drag Lake, the first bonfire, Drag Lake Castle bonfire, and head left and go take on the Throne Watch and Throne Defender right now, okay? Because if you don't if you don't do that, you're gonna have to face um the Throne Watcher, the Throne Defender, after beating them, the Chandra is gonna enter the boss door. 
and you're gonna have to fight Nishandra right off, uh, right after you beat the Throne Watcher and Throne Defender. So I'm only doing it for the a little cool cutscene. So yeah, and I kind of want to get my ass kicked. <laughs> uh, yeah, I want to get my ass kicked so bad. That's why I'm doing it. Um, yeah. If you guys don't want that fight to be too hard, I suggest you guys go fight them right now. But yeah, you know, I'm kind of an idiot. I like to do things the hard way. So yeah. Anyways, um, I'm gonna finish up this this memory lane first, just so I can get to chat with Ben Hart. And the reason why we're talking to Ben Hart right now is because. Uh, after talking to him here, you when you fight the the boss in the memory lane in the main memory lane, which it's I'll show you guys where it is in a bit. But yeah, when you fight the boss, you can get to summon Ben Hart, and if he survives the boss fight, then you can just talk to him again in here in this memory lane right here. Uro, you can talk to him in this memory lane, and he'll give you his set and the sword. If you guys fuck up. If, if he fucks up, well, you can't really do, you can't really, like, expect an NPC to survive all the fights, so. If he fucks up, then, and you kill the boss, then you're gonna have to defeat the Throne Watcher and Throne Defender. And possibly Nishandra, because I don't know if how it works if you combine the two fights together, so. If you guys really want his set and stuff, I suggest you go fight the Throne Watcher and the Throne Defender right now with Ben Hart, so. And if he survives the fight... Then you can grab his items when you get to, when you get over to this area. Yeah, he just has to survive four fights, okay? Look at you, old friend. I see your troubles way upon you yet. Just remember, I'm always ready to help. My homeland is in the far east, a kingdom of honorable fighting men. And this sword, yeah, awaits a true man to wield it. I know how swords think, you see. <laughs> My homeland is in the Far East, a kingdom of honorable fighting men. And this sword, yeah, awaits a true man to wield it. I know how swords think, you see. <laughs> Okay, um, I exhausted this dialogue. Up there, there's uh, there's some pickups, but we do have time limit in memory lane, so I'm just gonna skip those pickups. What's up there? It's um, I believe there's a steel armor set. I do have a video of showing how to get that. So if you guys want to know what how it looks like and stuff, you guys can go check that out. And if I if I said he has to survive four fights, my bad. He has to survive three out of four fights. Okay, there's a total of four fights, and he has to survive three of them. At this part, what I like to do is I just like to rush through these giants over here. Be careful about these guards over here because they will go hostile on you if you get... Well, if you stand right next to them, so... I'm just gonna grab the soul of a giant and get the fuck out of there. Yeah, I um, have no intention of exploring the memories. It takes too long and you do have a set time limit. If the time limit expires, you're gonna be sent back to the current time like right here and everything that you killed during the time you spent in the memory is going to respawn if you get sent back so um i'll leave that for you guys to explore if you guys want to but yeah i only do this for the the giant souls for vendrick and i want to show you guys where the giant souls are and where it's located so yeah uh, next stop we got, I know there's a um, soul rate, I mean a memory lane down there, but I won't do that one just yet, just cause um, I want to wrap up two areas at once when I do it. Oh, two things at once, not two areas, two things. I don't know why, I can't talk anymore. <laughs> but yeah, cause there is an NPC there and if you didn't defeat the giant lore yet, he won't talk to you. Oh, he will talk to you, but he won't give you the trophy. And he won't give you the helmet that you need for the trophy. So, yeah. Uh, one of the 
other memory lane is over here. And the Brightstone Cove area. It's where you fought Frasier. Damn it. Freaking roll through. Yeah, it's in the room of Frasier, actually. So you're gonna have to get there. And goddamn, there's spiders in this area. I hate spiders. Hate them in games, and I hate them in real life. Let me see if I can speed run past these guys over here without getting destroyed. Alright, made it. Alright, this is gonna be a speed run. Hopefully, I don't die during this part because there is gonna be spiders down here. Inch over. Kind of like a shortcut if you guys don't want to wander around the whole map just to try to get down. Ooh, made it. Alright, cool. And you see this little crystal over here? This it's um this is one of the memory lanes. And yes, we got spiders following us. Cool. Whatever. This memory lane doesn't grant you a, a giant soul, it grants you an ancient soul, I believe. And you can get like this, this sword that a lot of people use. I heard it's it's better than the the ruler's great sword, so I guess I might want to consider grabbing this instead. Now I reside within memory for long. You just want to come over here with this like big ass winged creature that's down over here. Was there, did I see a pig up here? Nope. Uh, so what you want to do is just come to his mouth. I don't know what this is. And yeah, just come to the mouth. It looks weird. <laughs> You're getting sidetracked. My bad. Yeah, come to his mouth, examine it, and get the ancient dragon soul. And when you examine it again, it's going to send you back to your own world. So that's two memory lane down. Uh, two more to go. I'm gonna we're gonna be taking on the boss right now, so Yeah, where's the spiders? Okay, the spiders didn't follow me, that's good. Head on back to the bonfire. Uh we're gonna be taking on the giant lord. He is kinda tough because he can one shot you, so you wanna be really careful when you fight this guy. And his moves are kind it's not that hard to read, but it is kinda hard though. Cause you can't really see what he's doing. You can you can only kinda predict what he's gonna do based on how his legs move. Cause if you if you lock onto the top the upper part uh, upper part of his body, it's gonna be hard to like you know, like maneuver because you, you won't be able to see yourself. It's gonna be like this. <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna be a bit tough to maneuver if you lock on to the top top part of his body and just in case something fucks up during this fight here i'm just gonna have my ring of life protection on uh i haven't died during this boss fight and all my practice runs so i don't know but shit usually goes I don't know, shit happens when I record for YouTube, so... <laughs> I don't know, something interesting might happen during this fight. Uh, let's see, let's see. Where is the King's Ring? Here we go. Open up. And what did I have? The Ring of Life Protection. Let me see my equipment. Damn, it's 68%. I'm pretty heavy right now. Gonna have to up that vitality. Okay, like, I don't know. All the animation seems to be the same. Uh. Slumbering dragon shield. Oh, by the way, I'm recording this at 12 a.m. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that sleepy yet. Hopefully, I don't start, like, blabbling about things. 
Alright, Van Hope Jugo, that's where his sign's gonna be. You can summon him right there. Not resigning the memory for long. You wanna wait for the fireball? The catapult. You wanna hang a left? Come up here, you wanna wait for that statue over there to roll down and hopefully if we're lucky I'll take down both of these giants. If not then Ben Hart might be in trouble. Oh, it took him down, cool. Nice. Now wait for the catapult and run. Come over here. Did Ben Hart make it? Okay. Wait for the catapult. Run. Be careful with the giant lord's attack. You wanna do a side side jumping dodge. Be careful about his stops. Get two hits in and be careful what he does next. One, two. Okay. Is he gonna stomp again? Okay, he's gonna swing forward. He usually swings at where you were before. So he's gonna swing forward. He kind of screams like a bit, um, like he's gonna, well, he's, he's gonna, oh shit. He's gonna scream if he's gonna swing again. Okay, so he's after Ben Hart right now, so it's our chance to heal up. But we do not want Ben Hart to die during this fight because we want his trophies and shit. Well, I got his trophies and stuff already, so. I want to get it during the recording. And we're gonna stop again. It's kind of hard to see where he is because of the wall. Don't swing, don't swing, don't swing. Yeah, what you're hoping for here is for him to stop <laughs> uh, rather than swing because uh, it's more of a bitch when he swings. Alright, the giant lower soul and the king's. I mean, the giant's kingship, I believe. And over here is another giant soul. Or, or soul of a giant, if you want to be all specific about it. Uh, yeah. Now we have... What do we have? One, two, three. So we have three. Right? Yeah. And we're missing one more. And... Yeah, I'll show you guys how to obtain that, too. I don't die during the process. And also, I want to show you guys Ben Hart's set stuff. I'll just pick that up at the end. I want to focus on the memory lanes right now. I don't want to get sidetracked. Alright, final memory lane. And this where is where you can get another trophy. If you defeated the Giant Lord first before coming to this memory lane. Or else you guys... If you guys came to this memory lane first and then go fight the giant lord, it's no problem. You guys didn't miss out any trophy, okay? You guys can still re like come back to this uh, memory lane and talk to the guy, and he'll also he'll still give you the the helmet. So no need to worry. You didn't miss out anything. This memory lane is kind of long. If not, it's the longest memory lane you have to deal with. Um, yeah. And there's a couple of there's a couple of giants here. Which, I'm just gonna run by them. I mean, I'm a dex build, I'm not... I, I, even if I try to take them, take them all on, I don't think I'll kill them all in time to get through the whole memory lane. So. Alright, let's chat up this guy, we don't got much time. And he has a really long dialogue. What are you doing here? You are not one of our soldiers. And I don't take you for a mercenary. Whoever you are, this is no battle to involve yourself in. Whether you are guided by bravery or brashness, <laughs> this is no place for you. I am Drummond, and the Lord has placed this fort in my hands. Whoever you are, I forgive your trespass, but leave this place immediately. 
Just mention my name, and no man will challenge your exit. And even if you don't, by now, my men have not the will to resist. Soon, the giants will descend upon this fort. It is revenge for the kingdom's misguided barbarism. The venerable lord built this kingdom to bring prosperity to his subjects. What has transformed him so, I cannot imagine. Long ago, the king crossed the seas, pillaged the land of giants, and brought back a prize. It was then that the golems materialized. The giants are no ordinary barbarians. A singular rage burns within their hearts. My father and his father both fought the giants on this very land. The giants have wills of steel. They cannot find it within themselves to forgive the misdeeds of our Lord. Did you see him? That towering monster among them? That is most certainly their king. He will be a thing to topple. <laughs> Even if I should die trying. My blade may break, my arrows fall wide, but my will shall never be broken. Those who live by the sword will die by it, and I, Drummond, won't go down without drawing mine. Take these. I think you may just need them. All right, so here is where he offers you offers you the drag lake helmet. Oh, <laughs> I should press X and he talked. My bad. Be gone with you. This fort will soon fall. Be gone before the giants are entirely upon us. And you can learn the hurrah gesture from this guy. Be gone with you. Be gone. Alright, so that's it for his dialogue and we want to make a beeline out of this area. Be careful over here, in that crack there's going to be a giant ambush. Just run by him, there's going to be two more out here. One guy spits acid, be careful, this guy does. You want to head into this little area over here, the giants won't be able to follow you through. And when, once you get to this area, keep right and there's going to be a ladder right here. You want to make this run fast, okay, because there are these guys, the Pyromancy Giants over here, and you want to run through this area while the soldiers are keeping them busy in the bottom, and the mist has thinned. So that's not good, because once the, com the mist disappears, we won't be able to be in this area anymore, so... quickly examine this body and get out get out so we can uh so we can I don't know keep the silver giant because if you if the mist thins out I explained this before if the mist thins out you get sent back and you're gonna repeat the whole area okay so yeah I didn't want to run all the way there just to get sent back so anyways that's gonna cover it for uh, the memories oh can't forget about Ben Hart. We still gotta go grab up his item. Yeah, we're gonna grab up Ben Hart's item and then I'm gonna call it a run. How's that noise? Oh, whatever. Alright, gonna head on back down. Ooh, that took a lot of fall damage there. Alright, make a speed run back. Yeah, now the only thing we gotta do is we gotta clear out the final section of the game. Yep. 
up, they're gonna follow you. They're gonna follow you all the way? No, they're not. Okay, so just head on back to this memory lane right here. And uh, Ben Hart should be sitting right there. Right in front of you. And talk to him and he's going to give you his set. Okay, so if you guys want to get his items, that's how you obtain it. And let's just chat him up right now. And let's see what he says. We have outwitted death a good many times. <laughs> oh, my dear friend. Okay, we got the Blue Moon Great Sword uh, and Ben Hart's set, so let's see if he says anything else. My homeland is a so I know who sword. Alright, I don't know how he he still has all that shit on even though he gave us his sword. And let's go check that out. The Blue Moon Great Sword, um The play of this great sword shines. The brilliant rays of the moon, known as legends, rarely spoken of today. It is said that the sword was born from a great white bean. <laughs> then what explains this lifeless weapon? Perhaps there's a, there has been some mistake. So, yeah, this is... It looks like the moonlight butterflies. I mean, uh, Seath is... Moonlight sword? I don't know if it is. Actually, I don't even think it is. Yeah, it doesn't have um. Yeah, it doesn't have the magic. It's <laughs> it's fake. It's a uh, it's a freaking rip off right here. Um, yeah. It's a rip off. Anyways, let's get the flock out of this area. Head on back to Majula. Level up and prepare ourselves for the final fight. Oh yeah. This is gonna be fun. Kinda nervous. <laughs> uh, and I'm just gonna spend all the souls I have accumulated. All the souls that I have grabbed up. I am just gonna use them all. And I'm back to Majula here. Where is the Emerald Harrow? Hello. Bearer of the curse. I will always be at your side. Okay, you said that before. Um Let's see what we can level up here. We can level up endurance. I like it 40. More vitality. Alright, uh, I'm gonna use up all the souls that I have stocked up. So, all these, I'm gonna use them all. Cool. And uh, before before we talk to her again, I just want to upgrade my pyromancy flame before I forget again. I'm all right, now that's done. So now we can spend all our freaking souls on leveling up. Uh. More vitality. Uh, more vigor. And adaptability, I guess. This seems good. Alright, um, let's see. Do I. What level am I actually? I'm level 124. And, uh,. Do I need anything? I got 1,000 souls. Actually, gold pine resin might be useful in this situation here. Hmm. 
<laughs> I don't even think I have enough to for gold pine resin. Whatever. I just want to spend as much soul as I can because this is the end game here. No point of saving them all up, right? And before shit gets serious, um, Southern Ritual Ban, Attuned Spells, I want the Flame Swathe, or say Flame Swath, whatever, uh, Equip. Pyromancy hand plus 10. Sweet. Right now we're ready to rock and roll. Alright, so yeah, in the next video, we will be taking on the final fight of Dark Souls 2. Yeah, uh, I hope this video has helped you guys out on how to get through all the memory lanes. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And how to defeat the Jack Lord, of course. But that's going to be it for this video. In the next video, we're going to be taking on the final boss. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, enjoyed this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time when we finish up Dark Souls 2. Uh, take care and Holmes out.